Hi everyone, Yudi New here on behalf of the Melbourne Jewish Charity Fund. Normally around this time of year, I'll come to Young Yeshiva and um, give a short talk and uh, run a short appeal on behalf of the Melbourne Jewish Charity Fund. Unfortunately, we won't be in Shul this year, so I'm gonna do it like everything else by um, video. And as I like to do when I get to speak to you person to person in Shul, I thought I'd do it by way of a story which can perhaps uh, give us a different way of looking at Tzedakah and generate some of that feeling of giving. I know it's a difficult time for everyone at the moment, particularly financially. Um, so whatever you can give to help, even if it's the smallest amount, just to be mishtatif and help um, those in our community that are doing it tough and that we are helping and that are being helped through your wonderful committee. If anyone needs, they should certainly reach out. But it's told of the Arizal Kodesh that once on uh, he was in the fields with his Talmidim and all of a sudden he said quickly quickly go everyone run and rustle up whatever money you have and go and collect and collect as much stock as you can because there's a Yid in Tzvas who's doing it really really tough he's really really poor and he's crying out to Shomayim and his cries have reached the de deepest of the depths in Shomayim and it's generated Rahman al anger from Hashem um, and he's going to bring a plague on the city of Tzfas. So we must do this super quickly. So they gathered up whatever they could and uh, they gave the money to one of the Talmidim who then went around to the house of this uh, Rabid. And uh, when he arrived at the house, he saw that the poor man was, was, was crying terribly and he asked him what's happened. And he said, I had one pitcher left and uh, that's shattered. And I don't even have a prutta to even buy a pitcher to even put water in. And um, it's a really, really tough situation. So the um, Talmud of the Arizal handed over the money that uh, they had collected. And this year was incredibly happy. And um, the Talmud went back to the Arizal Kodesh and the Arizal said, thank God the uh, decree has passed. But as the Talmudim looked up, they still they saw in the air that there was still some something in the air, some wind. And the Arizal explained that Hashem was going to bring a plague of locusts, but he'd taken, given that they'd rushed with the tzedakah and they'd brought about simcha for this yid, um, he brought about a wind similar to Yamsuf and took away all the locusts until um, not a single one uh, landed in the city of Tzfas and the city was saved. So um, we can see the incredible power um, that the cry of a yid can have, but even more so the incredible power that we can have when we help our um, fellow brothers and sisters. Um, so whoever can be mishtatif, that, that is a wonderful thing, particularly in this time. And um, I, I wish everyone safety, peace of mind. And um, again, if you need to, you should reach out. Uh, Kol Tov and Guten Chodesh Elul. And in Mirz Hashem, you know, we'll, we'll understand all of this and 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 um, be together again um, in person in Yerushalayim Rakodesh.